about Filipino Americans, second, third, fourth generation being engaged. Last Tuesday, we had Conja and Helen here on the show, and she talked about engaging the youth. And we now have representatives from the youth joining us. They're beautiful. Mm -hmm. uh, Mia and Krisha. Uh, Krisha, earlier you talked about how you think there are differences and there is a disconnect because we have different uh, whys. And we zero in on the differences. Filipino immigrants, obviously different experiences compared to the right. experience of the Filipino Americans here. But uh, according to Conj and Helen, we can unite by focusing on the things that bind us, which are faith and family. What about you? I think that goes also in line with the why, right? Why are we doing, why should we do, why should we unite? I think the unifying factor is the fact that we are Filipino. Regardless, the fact that we're even claiming that I am Filipino American, aside from just saying I'm American, it ties back down to what our common denominator is, which is the Philippines, which is that wherever you are as a Filipino immigrant, uh, as a Filipino American, Filipino Australian, Filipino Canadian, your roots are in the Philippines. That is the motherland. For me, I didn't understand what motherland meant until you realize, okay, wait, if my mom's visa didn't get approved for whatever reason, I would have grown up just like any of the other children in the Philippines. So mm -hmm. we do have roots there. Mm -hmm. And that is the common denominator that we are one Filipino. But I think throughout, you know, the process mm -hmm. of becoming trying to live the American dream we've lost that common because also I think the Filipino immigrants yeah. having uh, moved here right. from the Philippines uh, the goal is trying to assimilate right whereas the Filipino Americans are Americans right. first right. Mm -hmm. but that they want to connect to their uh, heritage and they don't know how really yeah. to establish so, authenticity yeah. and if I can just piggyback a yes. little bit yes. because we were me and Christian were talking about this earlier but I really think especially it's the younger film generation to really step up exactly. right now because for example, we, neither of us have kids yet, but maybe, you know, in the future, we, we plan on having kids, and we want to make sure that our kids, you know, understand who they are as a Filipino. If we don't step up, collaborate, uh, work together, we're worried that, you know, the future generations, what's going to happen with, um, you know, what are they going to know the about future. being Filipino and the culture. Beautiful message. The yeah. challenge is on you. So go ahead, invite uh, the yes. Filipino Americans uh, out there that are watching, join us on Saturday. Saturday, uh, we are going to celebrate, have a fiesta, a barbecue, come out, hang out with us um, at the Philippine Independence Day, Kalayaan, in historic Filipino town, Saturday from 9 to 4. Um, and again, we're trying to engage as many younger Philams as we can. The Congen has expressed in the past that we haven't had much of a turnout before, so we want to make sure we can come out, sh support, show our numbers, and have a big party. And I hear there's going to be an after party where we can take some drinks, shots after the event. So really, where in. is that? No, I haven't well, heard that. You have to, you, you have, have to go. go, and then we'll let you know. Right. right. What's going to happen, Krisha, on uh, June? Uh, well, I have, a, I have an idea. I have a program uh -huh. I'll be emceeing. But what's going to be there? Are there going to be booths, food? Or is there going to be performance or a stage? Yeah, there, there's going to be a few performers, um, people in the community, uh, people that are entertainers that support the Filipino community, um, lots of vendors. I know Seafood City is going to be there is, is one that I've heard, uh, and a few others. And we are one Filipino, a yeah. yes. new group. We'll yes. have a booth as well. So yes. come out, check us out um, as well. And speaking of booths, Bayani Tour, we're going to have a booth oh, yes. there as well, yes. Yes. especially Tour. for those of you who want to go to the Philippines with like-minded people, mm -hmm. yes. right, and beautiful yes. people. Um, we are having a program that we're rolling out for summer, and you might want to get information about that. Um, again, last-minute reminders, any other future plans for we are one or should we just keep uh, are you just going to update us as you go along definitely update you as you go as we go along but we're talking about um, you know meeting with um, the Filipino community trying to see uh, how we can better contribute mm -hmm. um, maybe do like a city hall thing yes, at the consulate's yes, office yes, so yes. there's a lot of exciting things that we're planning on doing wonderful and make sure you tune in here sa Kababayan today po because this is not going to be the last time that we're seeing them they're going to be very active in our community and mm -hmm. thank you for trying to engage the youth as well. Thank, Thank you. you. More power yeah. to both of you. Thanks. We'll be back. Uh, a brand new performer from Hawaii. I told you all new things on the show today. So brand new performer when we return. Keep it here.